This week we are going to do a little bit of celebrating because this year on February 12th, it was the Chinese Lunar New Year. So it's we have to celebrate. Now I'm a little bit behind, but we're still going to celebrate anyway, because one of my favorite things to do is to learn about different people's cultures and their worlds and their lives and the things that are important to them. And I thought it would be fun if we learned about it together as well in our art class. Now we are very familiar with New Year on January 1st, but the Lunar New Year is different. The timing is not quite the same. It's a little bit different. The Lunar New Year happens somewhere in between January and February. It's never the same date every year because it has to do with the moon and the phases of the moon. So depending on how the moon works, that decides the day of the lunar new year, which is pretty cool. This year, like I said, it was on February 12th. Now the lunar new year is pretty neat because there is a lot of symbolism involved and it marks the change of the different zodiac sign that represents the lunar new year. Wait, what's a zodiac? The zodiac is pretty cool because it takes 12 different animals to symbolize the year, what it might be like, but then the zodiac, zodiac also represents the people that are born that year. So if you figure out what your zodiac birth year was, you'll know what your zodiac symbol is. Each symbol, each animal has different personalities that in the Chinese culture they say plays into who we are. There are 12 different zodiacs in total and the legend is that the Jade Emperor wanted to decide which animals would be the 12 symbols so he created a race and the first 12 that made it to his palace became the animals that were chosen for the zodiac and that's the order that they're in. Every year it's always in the same order. So the order of the zodiac are rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. So every single zodiac has different symbols that are pretty cool and important. Last year was for 2021 was the year of the rat. And that's pretty symbolic, I think. Hopefully this year, 2021, the year of the ox, we will be tougher, we'll be able to be more powerful, we'll be able to persevere and stick through, and we'll be able to fight off everything that came in 2020. Here's hoping. You can check out right here. Bing! Look for the year that you were born and find out which zodiac symbol you are. I am a rabbit. And that's so fun. <laughs> you can do a little research on your own then too and find out what that says about you. So today to celebrate the Zodiac Lunar New Year and it being the 2021 Year of the Ox, we're going to draw some ox. <laughs> you can decide if you would like a male ox with some horns or if you would like a female ox known as a cow and leave it without the horns. We're going to draw an ox together and then it's up to you to add cool personal details to make your ox look like it's celebrating. You can decide if you want it to look like it has props in a photo booth with glasses or signs or anything that you can think of. You could give it flower crowns or party hats or even even noisemakers. <laughs> the materials that you need today are a piece of paper so we can draw our ox, a pencil and a black marker or a black crayon so you can do your drawing and your outlining as usual. You need your coloring supplies, whatever coloring supplies you want to use. You could use markers or crayons or I even use some paint. And then you might want a few extra pieces of paper or some silly extra things you might have around your house to decorate it and make it exciting. So let's get all of the supplies that we need, a piece of paper, pencil, marker or a crayon, our coloring supplies, whatever kind you wanna to use today, it's up to you, and some scissors and glue to glue on extra little bits that you make for yourself out of extra paper. So grab all those things and get ready to channel your inner ox and get rolling. Okay, and we are ready to start our Lunar New Year Year of the Ox portraits. 
Hopefully you found all of your supplies by now. We have some coloring supplies. You can use whatever coloring supplies you want. Like I said, you may use markers, you may use crayons, you could use colored pencils, or you can even use your paint if you want. It's entirely up to use you use whatever you have. To do our drawing today, we're gonna start with a pencil and then outline it in either a permanent marker or a crayon, whichever works. And then of course we need a white piece of paper to do our drawing on. And um, then I also have some extra pieces of colorful paper in case I want that to cut out some details. So let's get started. So to make our ox today, oh, and sorry, I cut my finger the other day. So that's why I have this funny bandaid on my hand. To get started with our oxes, we wanna to remember to fill the whole page so that we have big ox portraits today, not just little ones. So grab your pencil and we're gonna start by making a big upside down loopy U that fills a big chunk of our paper like that. It might be a little wider at the top, a little skinnier at the bottom. Awesome, that's the face. Now let's put our snout on our ox by doing kind of an oval shape down here at the bottom it's a little bit fat and a little bit large and it comes out a little bit farther than the face. Perfect. That is where the nose goes. From there, we're going to put the bottom of the mouth. So it's like his little bottom jaw and that's just a little scoop boop, right underneath. Perfect. Once you have those, let's finish up the nose by putting some nose details just by, you know the deal, two ovals. Now right now it almost looks like a face just like that, but we're going to add the rest of our ox facial features so that this nose doesn't look like eyeballs and a mouth, but it just looks like a nose. All right. Now at the top, let's put some great big oxen ears just by starting at the top, curving out to a point and then curve back in. Awesome. And if your ears are so big that they go off the page like that, that's totally fine too, no stress. Sometimes ears go off the side and that's okay. Now here's where you get to decide if you want a boy ox or a girl cow. They are two different things. I want a boy ox, so I'm gonna put two horns. If you want a girl, leave the horns out. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna put two horns by doing a curve up at a point and then coming back down. So it's tapers, it gets skinnier and then wider. Cool. A few final details and I am set. Let's put some eyeballs and the rest of the nose. So start anywhere up by the ears. You can be above the ears, you can be below the ears and let's make the snout look more defined by starting near the top. Do a little bit of a curve and come down boop, to the nose. And then the same thing on the other side, do a little curve, come down, boop. That kind of just gives him that long nose and it'll make him look a little bit more 3D. And then of course, let's put some eyes somewhere at the top. I like to put some oval shapes, super cool. You can even put a roundy part inside of there to be the iris. And of course you can put a highlight as well. Cool. Now that we have that, our final bit is of course connected to its body. So somewhere near the bottom and the snout, put some curves, just like how we did on our portraits last week. And there is my body of my ox. Fabulous. Now you can decide if your ox has spots. You can decide if your ox has spots or if it's just one solid bit, it's up to you. If you wanna add some spots, go for it. Or you can just leave him one solid color. I'm gonna add some spots, cause why not? You could even put spots on the face if you want to too. Have fun with it. Maybe I'll put a few spots on the ears. I like that. Great. Now that it is all drawn, I have my nose, my face, my ears, my horns. So mine is an ox and I have some shoulders. Now let's grab our crayons or our markers and outline them to make them nice and big and bold. Let's go. Fabulous, it is all outlined. Now friends come, comes the fun part. We can decide if we wanna add some texture and designs and then add some color. So if you wanna put some texture, just like how we did with some of our furry friends last year, you can take some crayons or markers and do little hatch lines that are little straight lines to add some fur. Um, and remember friends, you can color your oxen any color you want. 
They don't have to be the neutral colors that we normally see, like black and browns and whites. You can decide to make your Oxen Ed Technicolored purple, pink, blue, any color. It's up to you. I think I'm gonna go a little crazy with it because why not? So I'm gonna use purple first. You can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna add a little bit of fur because why not? I'm gonna use my purple crayon and just by going in some of my spaces, I'm gonna give them some texture and some fur. Cute. If you decide to put fur, maybe it'll look something like this or your own design. Now, friends, let's add some color. Now, remember, if you're going to do things different colors, jump around if you're using paint or use whatever colors of crayons or markers you might want. It's entirely up to you. If you want him to have an orange nose, cool. If you want him to have a blue nose, awesome. If you want him to have red horns, go for it. Have fun with it. This ox is about celebrating and having an awesome, strong, and powerful new year. So you make him however you want him to be. Maybe you're gonna use markers to color in some of it, maybe crayons for other parts, and maybe paint for your third bits. However you wanna do it, totally works for me. I'm gonna use a combination, I think, of my markers and my paint. So friends, however you want your oxen to be colored in, go for it. I'm gonna bring my paint in for fun. Remember, if we paint, add some water to the colors to get them nice and liquidy to start, making little puddles for yourselves. Once you have those little puddles, then you're ready to go to do your loading, loading, loading stop. And then you are ready to paint and fill in. So however you want to add color to your oxen is entirely up to you. You can even decide to fill in your backgrounds if you want. So have fun, paint away. I'm gonna go into hyperspeed. See you in a minute. Now be careful that whenever you paint two things next to each other, you let them dry in between or else you'll get a little bit of this bleeding action where the one paint color bled into the other. That happened to me a couple times, even with my markers. So be careful, markers aren't always gonna stay put. Now I can let that dry and paint over it or I can paint over it now. I'm gonna leave it because now it's time to make my ox looks like it is ready to celebrate. Now. You can add whatever sort of celebra celebration details you might want. There are so many choices. So while we wait for our oxen to dry, set them aside and let's work on our celebration pieces. Now you can make all sorts of cool celebration details like silly props for glasses on top of your oxen. You can even add cool designs to them, which would be pretty fun. You could cut out different shapes that you know and love, like hearts and stars and whatever, and put those in the background. You could also cut out long, skinny rectangles and then roll them up from one end to make a fun noise maker that you could put in your little oxen's mouth so it looks like he is blowing that to celebrate. You could even make a party hat cut out a big gigantic triangle and stick it on the top. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. I love the party hat idea. Cut it out of plain paper, add some cool designs and stick it on top. Another way that you can make your oxen ready to celebrate is by making some cool drawings that you attach on afterward. You could make your oxen a crown or a ring of flowers and even attach those on as well. So once your oxen is dry, you can figure out what sort of celebratory details you wanna add. You can do one detail or you could do seven details. It's up to you. You could even make a talk bubble coming out the side. So let's take some time. Let's cut out some cool shapes, draw some pretty flowers and decorate our oxen so he's ready to celebrate.
gorgeous. Now this oxen is ready to celebrate. He has his talk bubble. He has his flower details, his super cool red and orange party hat. Uh, some fun flowers and hearts for the background because backgrounds are always exciting. And of course, his little noise maker. Now friends, you can have decorated your background however you choose. You don't have to do any of the details that I did and you can totally invent your own. You could put top hats, you could put stars, you could put fireworks, you could write your own message inside, you could, it's entirely up to you. I can't wait to see the amazing decor and celebratory, celebratory pieces that you add to your 2021 year of the ox oxen have fun making them add lots of color and don't forget to upload them on canvas so i can see your amazing creations <laughs>